rackets correctly. Um, I see people demoing rackets incorrectly all the time, all the time, and it kind of drives me crazy because when you go buy new rackets or you're looking to buy new rackets, you have to buy at least two or three brand new ones of the same model. So you're putting in anywhere from what is that? It's about $200 a racket, so about $400 to $600 in new sticks. You gotta demo them properly. It's so important. So I have these three big tips on how I would personally go about demoing new rackets and how I actually have gone about demoing new rackets. Uh, the first biggest one is you wanna demo new rackets at a time that is like is good for you. And what I mean by that is, let's say I'm gearing up for this big tournament and it's a month away, I'm not gonna be demoing new rackets a month before my new tournament because I gotta be focusing on cleaning everything up, getting better, improving for that tournament. So you want to find a good stretch where you maybe have two months until you have a really big tournament. That's super important because it takes, it takes you know, three to four weeks to kind of adjust totally to a brand new racket. Um, my second big tip is when you're demoing new rackets, you have to put the exact same string and the exact same tension in that racket to accurately compare it to what you currently have. I see players all the time, they come with three new demos, let's say they normally use Slinko Hyper G, and then they have Slinko Tourbite in one of them, they have like a hybrid in another, and then they have a synthetic gut in the third one, all different tensions, all different strings, and I, to me it's really simple, like I don't know how you can compare them when you have that different of strings in them, but I see it happen all the time. So like, make sure when you get your new rackets, you have to put the exact same string, exact same tension in the rackets before you go about demoing them. Uh, my third and final big thing is rackets are an investment, not only financially, but also to like you improving your overall game. So you gotta treat it like that. When I get a new demo, when I, I'm demoing out new rackets, I'm gonna set a week aside for those two or three different demos where I'm gonna play with them four, five, six times during that week to see how I actually like react to them. Because we've all had moments you play a practice, you play a match, and you're like, oh, I'm not playing good today. But people don't think about that when they're demoing rackets. They might demo a new racket Monday, and they're like, I don't like that racket. But what if Monday, you wouldn't have been playing good with your normal racket either? Maybe your timing was off, maybe you weren't moving your feet very well. You gotta, like, that could happen with the rackets. Or likewise in reverse, maybe Monday you were playing lights out with the new racket. You're like, oh, it's the new racket. But I've seen sometimes where people feel really good with that racket, but it, you know, Monday, but then through the week they're like, ah, you know what, actually I didn't like it. So it's, it's really important that you set aside five to six days of actual hitting with that racket to see if you actually like it. Because people don't always play their best tennis every day or like their pretty solid tennis every day. You, you gotta give the racket time and give you and the racket time to see which ones you like best. Um, so, hey, when you're demoing new rackets, I really follow those three really great tips to find a racket that works best for you.